Shalom, man of God. I'm taking the questions which are premised upon the earlier teaching that has been done. I know the eternal consequences of sitting in the seat of a master. If what I'm saying you don't know, you can confirm with the Spirit of God. Some of us came by the will of man. Some of us came by the will of the flesh. We are two different people then. Then there are people who came by blood. Holiness is not the opposite of sin. It is righteousness that stands in opposition to sin. The giving away of a bride or of a woman to a man does not begin with the church, it begins with a home. The church is a sacred institution. It is not our church, it is the church of the living God. I mean to give answers on the grounds of the word of God. Stay within the word, not to be sentimental, but to allow the word of God to speak for itself. Solomon of God. We have a number of questions that have come up, um, basically as follow-up questions and um, pointers for clarifications on the matters we've been dealing with within the past um, two services, especially matters relating to the afterlife and um, matters relating to baptism for the dead, even as we did on Sunday. All right. And so we've had a number of questions that have come across the various networks as well as the virtual church and All so right. i'll go into them for answers the first question i have here is from docas she's in cci accra all right now docas says shalom pastor please can one be tasked to continue with and finish the work of a dead person he doesn't know of yes the next question. But what do you mean by you don't know of? Are you asking somebody you know by way of the person being a family member? When you say you know somebody, that's a very generalized question. Because there are many of you who don't know me. And in as much as you don't know me, you know me. It depends on the relational knowing and the extent or depth of that knowing. So who knows me and who doesn't know me? Somebody claims he knows Pastor Obed because he's been watching him on television. Another person claims he knows Pastor Obed because he's in the same church with him. Another person claims they know pastor because they work with him another person would also claim i know him because he's my friend someone else may say i know him because he's my father another person says i know him because he's my husband another person may also claim i didn't know you this way I knew as my friend, but I didn't know you this way. So, what do you mean by somebody you don't know? Because when you say knowing, are you talking about revelational knowing, experiential knowing, factual knowing, or impersonal knowing? Because knowings are in various dimensions. You may know somebody outside of experience, but very deep in revelation. There are people who know me more than those who experience me. They know me so deep in revelation that they know who I am, the sort of spirit I carry, the very person I am inwardly, they may know. And those who are experiencing me may not know me by revelation. So Paul said, 
we have known Christ after the flesh however we know him no longer but that we should know no man after the flesh wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh yea though we have known Christ after the flesh yet now henceforth know we him no more so what do you mean by somebody you don't know because there are people I don't know that I know and there are people that I know that I don't know and when we begin to talk about knowing the Bible says that whoever thinks he knows does not know as much as he should know so that's a very broad question and I actually don't understand the actual kind of knowing this person is talking about she's talking about somebody he came to meet here on earth somebody who lived in their community or their nation somebody who he's read about or has heard about somebody he had an encounter somebody he's had visions about or prophecies about all of these things are debts of knowing and they are debts of also not knowing the person so I wish the person was here him or herself so that I may ask the person what kind of knowing are you referring to but whichever way you think you know somebody you actually don't know them if you think you know them by revelation you may not know them experientially you may know the person by experience you may not know the person personally so knowing is so broad that we cannot answer the question for yes or for no but what I know is that in whatever spirit you are sent in there is an interesting discourse and I want to find out from you which of them you think is true when you read the book of John John the Baptist was asked are you Elijah or are you Messiah here the answer John gave I am not Elijah and I am not the Messiah then when you turn to the other epistles Jesus said for this John is Elijah question is who is telling the truth I don't know if you got what I just said in the book of John John was asked are you Elijah he said no I'm not he said I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness they said they unto him who are thou that we may give an answer to them that sent us what sayest thou of thyself what are you 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 what are you saying of yourself he said I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness make straight the way of the Lord as said the prophet Isaiah he asked him are you Elijah he said no I'm not Elijah are you Elijah John the Baptist says no I'm not Elijah and they asked him what then at thou Elias <laughs> and he said unto them I'm not Elijah so there are times you may be something you don't even know I am not then what the next one I doubt that prophet and he answered no but then then said they unto him who are thou that we may give an answer unto them that sent us what sayest thou of thyself then he said I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness I want you to understand something in our work in Christ we grow in the revelation of ourselves you may be working in the partial revelation of who you are or you may be working in the fullness of the revelation of who you are pathetically 
very many a people don't even have a clue of who they are so they are not even working in partial revelation they are destitute of their own personal revelation you may be destitute of the revelation of who you are and then you may be working in the partial revelation of who you are and then you may be walking in the fullness of the revelation of who you are so there are three groups of people when it comes to even knowing your own self he said in the verse 22 declare thou what sayest thou of thyself you yourself what do you say of your own self Are you Elijah? No, I'm not. Are you that prophet to come? No. But in the days of John, they were looking forward to the prophet and they were looking forward to Elijah. Because it had already been prophesied in the book of Malachi, the chapter number 3. That there will come that day in the verse 1. Who will be able to stand He said, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom you seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant. So, there was the messenger, and there was the Lord that they were seeking. He said, And the Lord whom you seek. And the Lord was a prophet. Because Moses had already prophesied that one like unto me, amongst your own selves, who is a brother, Will the Lord raise? He shall be a prophet. So question. Do you know who you are? Of what fullness? Pertaining to what God made you for. Reference your assignment. Do you know yourself to the depth that God knows you? And are you walking in the fullness of the revelation of who you are? All he knew was that. He was the voice of one that was crying in the wilderness. Are you Elijah? No. Are you that prophet? No. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Then he says, Isaiah is the one that gave me this revelation. So then, in contacting the revelation of who you are, it is so important who is talking to you who is ministering to you whose book are you reading whose messages are you listening to who are you following who are you giving attention to over here John the Baptist has a revelation of himself based on what elijah sorry based on what isaiah is declaring he reads isaiah and he says i am the one Eli isaiah was talking about but he's not start with what malachi was saying it takes jesus to come in and say emphatically that watch this if you are able to take it if you're able to take it that's what jesus says he says john he is elijah that is to come if you will receive it this is elias which was for to come in one place he says for john he is elijah straight because there are times that a senior can have a revelation of you more than you have of yourself in the things of God do not think that you know your destiny more than your man of God you are deceived unless God spoke to you verbatim I'm not talking about knowings I know who I am <laughs> you may know yourself partially you may be walking in 
partial revelation of who you are. So we get to know who we are by many sources. By revelation. Said, and if you are willing to accept it, John himself is Elijah who was to come. John, he himself is Elijah. But then they asked him, are you Elijah? He said, no. Are you the prophet? No. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. I heard that and I caught that revelation by reading Isaiah. Conclusion. Can you know the person of whose spirit you are walking in? We see right here with John. He himself had no clue about the spirit he was walking in. However, when you look critically at the agreement of scripture, the prophecy by Isaiah corroborates and is in agreement with the prophecy by Malachi. So he only caught a partial revelation of himself. Because the messenger to come is the one who is preparing the way of the Lord. He is also the one who is making the paths straight. That is the work of Elijah. Because according to Malachi, Elijah must first come before we seek the Lord, before we see the Lord whom we seek. So in conclusion, let us hear the question again. Our sister asked the question that can one be tasked to continue with or finish the work of a dead person he or she doesn't know of? Oh, okay. So I took it from the fact that he knowing of the person. Knowing of the person can be by whatever and he may not know and he may know. So I think that at this point in time, Elijah didn't know but he had been tasked. Sorry, John the Baptist didn't know but he had been tasked to carry out the work of Elijah that was to come. However, even though he didn't know very much that it was Elijah, by a certain diagnosis of his assignment, the higher one over John was able to diagnose that this is the spirit of Elijah. So, you may walk in the partial revelation or you may walk in the ignorance or you may walk in the fullness of the revelation of what you are supposed to do. Pastor Obed, always a blessing.